Boom. Hey, everybody. Last Outrider here with the next Black Legion video. The Tower of Silence. As the bloodshed of the first Black Crusade reached its frenzied heights, cities burned and worlds were stripped of people to feed the dark desires of the traitor legions. Leaving his Black Legion to continue their brutal reprisals and raids against Imperial worlds, Abaddon pursued his own dark plans. Using the howling souls unleashed into the warp by so much death and destruction, he made a secret demonic bargain. In payment for the feast of despair and pain and anguish, Abaddon had created with his Black Crusade, the Dark Gods gifted him with knowledge of the secret location of the Tower of Silence on Uralon. Cloaked in the shadow of the Eye of Terror, Uralon was whispered of in demonic lore as a place where the Chaos Gods themselves locked away their secrets. Following the strands of fate unraveled by his cabal of sorcerers, Abaddon had discovered a concealed path through the warp and across the shifting seas of worlds beyond to reach Uralon, without needing to breach the Cadian Gate. With a cadre of Black Legion's elite warriors, each one a brutal veteran of a thousand battles, Abaddon set foot on Uralon and entered the Tower of Silence. Almost at once, the Tower's guardians set upon them, ancient constructs of dark energy that shifted and flickered, their claws tearing at the ragged edges of his warrior's soul. After a bitter battle, Abaddon climbed down into the mirrored heart of Uralon. There, the dank tower crypts gave way to ethereal light and wind. Gravity reversed, and where Abaddon had been descending into the earth, he now walked out into a reflected realm the sky beneath his feet, the ground above. Following a floating path of twisted trees, he walked into a crumbling labyrinth of ancient stone that both decayed and was remade before his very eyes. Filled with the ghosts and echoes of those that had come before, the maze was a maddening tangle of old and new, its walls turning in upon themselves at impossible angles. For what seemed like an age, Abaddon wandered the haunted labyrinth, fighting off the spirits of the dead that had threatened to add him to their ranks. Finally, Close to exhaustion, the spoiler prepared to make his final stand. Then, from out of the madness of the maze, a towering figure appeared. Its perfect form wreathed in golden light. Without a word, the figure beckoned for Abaddon to follow. The despoiler tried to talk to the being and see its face. It remained hidden within a gauze of shimmering light, unresponsive and silent. The figure led Abaddon to the center of the labyrinth, where a shard of shifting darkness hung suspended in the air. Reaching out into the void, Abaddon felt the cold hilt of a blade meet his palm. 
and he pulled it back into reality. The demon sword, Drachnien, took terrible shape before his eyes. Raising the fearsome blade before him, Abaddon turned to demand the name of the Golden Guide, only to discover the figure was gone. Next, the Black Legion Ascendant. But I think we can see here, and it's just my guess, but every time you hear about a golden figure or a golden light or a golden aura throughout the entire 40K story series, we know it's talking about one person. Leading back to the possibility that all of this, all of this, including the Horus Heresy, including Abaddon the Despoiler, is still a plan of the Emperor. Something to think about until next time. Bye.